And another march ahead around of also a protest tonight. People are gathering in Jefferson Square Park. That's where we find the night team's Tom Lally right now. And uh, Tom, what is their plan for tonight? What have you learned? So they haven't released specific details, but a few people did speak and share their thoughts after the verdict. Uh, they said that the judicial system failed them. One speaker brought up the race of Breonna Taylor's neighbor. Another speaker noting uh, that now even a white person who lives next door to a black person can be impacted by what they called racism. Protesters here today say they're back and they'll stay back out until they see real change in policing, in the judicial system and in the mayor's office. Candidate Shamika Paris right here speaking today. He Here's some of what she had to say. This isn't just a black or white issue. This is an issue of power and corruption that has run our city for far too long. Other familiar faces here today include Dee Garrett, a prominent protester throughout the summer who was here protesting on Jefferson when he said he was assaulted by officers. Video showed him being punched in the head repeatedly by an officer. LMPD is still investigating that case and also back today is Brianna Taylor mural. They just brought it back within the past hour. We wanted to show that to you. Now, a local ordinance will keep them from leaving it up overnight, but right now it's a reminder of those protests in the summer of 2020. Live at Jefferson Square, Tom Lally, WHAS 11, on your side.